Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here coming at you today from Town Hall 9 and uh, we're going to be taking a look at the balloon changes, the, obviously the balancing changes that took place about a week ago uh, post update. Obviously with you guys have been working on, uh, you know, the builders based stuff and trophy pushing and all the jazz, but we still got to, you know, focus on war. We also still got to remember that there was some changes uh, with the balloons and we're going to start with Town Hall 9, but I'm going to do it, you know, I brought on uh, Cleric Dragoon uh, to help me out a little bit since I have been a little bit behind the power curve and he's a little bit more experienced on it. So hey, what's going on, Goon? You want to uh, introduce yourself a little bit what's going on joe man uh yeah I'm, guys i'm claire jagoon and uh basically uh i do a lot of strategy content on my channel i've been following the balloons intently uh joe just kind of watching the changes uh and seeing you know if they're still good if they're still viable and a lot of my viewers actually have been asking the same questions i have so yep that's that's been my mission uh a past uh, or post update yeah all right, well, I, I sent you a uh, replay. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go back about a month. Uh, I got a replay from, uh, you know, CWL War, Archer Outlaws, Attacker. You know, everybody in the CWL Light are doing a great job and great work. But I just had one replay that was a uh, it was a shattered uh, Gobo Low, if you will, uh, Golems, Bowlers, and Balloons. And we're going to take a look, and Goon's going to talk me through the old meta, and then we're going to go into the new stuff. I got some new stuff currently. So, hey, Goon, you got that video up? You want to take a look at it real quick? I I sure do, Joe. All right, go and ahead we'll, we'll and uh, we'll go ahead and start walking we'll, it through and talk about you know obviously everybody understands with the you know the golem drop and then setting the funnel you, know, you got to make sure that you you get your golems placed and be able to open it up and have the defenses tied up that way your uh, wall breakers don't have problems getting in. Obviously, you don't want to drop these wall breakers directly into a, uh, a wizard tower, which actually happened in this replay, correct? Or did he just bring a jump spell instead? I'm just I'm starting it right now, Joe. Uh, it looks like uh, you know it's a pretty good setup here on his funnel. Um, I hadn't got to the wall breakers yet, so here we go. The bowlers are coming in. Yeah, I don't see any wall breakers. I think he went straight jump because maybe he was afraid of the splash damage on that wizard tower. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think he went straight jump there just to make sure that he got in because okay. he, you know, you you can see basically he knew he was going to get two AD down uh, because once that jump got him into that compartment. Uh, that was GG for the air defense. And ultimately on the Gobo Laloon, uh, that's what you got to get. You got to get the Queen 2AD and the CC down. Now he's uh, he's coming in with his Hounds right here. Kind of interesting on the Hound deployment. He, he dropped them both together. Mm -hmm. uh, so they didn't really tank the balloons coming in on the side. But it's just a different, uh, different way to go in. But watch the balloons, Joe, as they're coming through the base. They're not really grouping mm -hmm. uh, like they like they are now. Uh, post update okay. everybody just pay attention to that um and now as the balloons he's healed the balloons there which by the way i love doing that uh that is a, a great thing a lot of people don't realize it but heals nowadays in balloon attacks are really good so yeah, I, I would quite, recommend doing that. Exactly, it's quite frequent now, especially in the denser areas where you have the wizard towers and normally a you know, yeah, ex, the wizard expo. tower splash. Yeah, it's that wizard tower splash is deadly to balloons. All right, for so sure. they're uh, so obviously pre-update they were the balloons were dropping you know their payload really quick. Uh, now what's the difference now as I jump into number sixteen? You want to take a look at number sixteen with me on uh, the Elite right. Academy War. So we're going to right. take a look at Rushy, and um, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and then you tell me when it started, and we're going to take a look at it from the very beginning, and you could talk about the differences on these balloons. Right, and here we go with Rushy. I'm starting right now, Joe. Mm -hmm. And we're going to we're going to watch his funnel being made here for a second. Same attacking method, guys. You know, shattered Gobo Laloon. Here we go, and 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 this attack, uh, guys. He's he's going. He's going uh, as I as I told Joe earlier. He's he's going uh, balls out here. He's going all the way across this base. He, he's going to take out two AD on the way to the queen. Uh, but this is definitely getting the maximum value out of this kill squad for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So, so he, I see what you're talking about with the queen. It's on the opposite side of the base. It's kind of a, a gutsy maneuver here. Uh, you know, oh, absolutely. expecting expecting to get so much out of that kill squad. Uh, that's a, that's, a, that's kind of a you know really large gap to cover you know what i mean sure it is and, but now obviously uh rushy is very experienced at this uh he knows what his royals are going to get him they are max so uh you got to have max royals really to try this type of attack uh yeah. you know cutting across the base like this exactly so barbarian king just actually he actually just shifted into the the um 
the uh, compartment with the queen and I'm gonna pause it real quick as that second uh, portion starts so the hound the first hound is down and he has dropped it looks like four balloons is that what you're saying I think that looks like about four or five yeah balloons. four balloons okay and, and that's yeah go ahead John all right no no talk tell, tell me about tell me about I, I, was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say that's that's something I've noticed right away and matter of fact um, right after the update uh, I did some loon attacks and I had I had some fails and uh, I I it was I was deploying my balloons and in, in you know surgical groups of two um, that's after this update really and truly you need to go three or four uh, on your surgical drops you're not going to be able to cover as much of the base with your surgical lay that way and and pathing is going to become more important on these attacks uh, you, you definitely are going to have to understand your loon pathing and it's going to be very similar to planning a hog attack in my opinion what do you think, Jeff? Yeah, I see what you're talking about now because at this point, I've already come over into that eastern compartment. I'm going to pause it for you guys so you can look and see what's happened here. Uh, so now he's kind of, instead of, you know, before, if it would have been me attacking, like before, I you know, I would have been dropping uh, two balloons here on this mortar here and then two balloons to come in on this archer tower and two balloons here to come in this archer tower. But it's right. what, what he's ultimately done is he's pathed. His group of balloons walked up this entire side down here in the south, and then they he dropped another three over here, like I showed you before, and they all they've all matched up. So they're all up on this air defense now, in a very large spammy type group. And so now we have a group of about well, I don't know about six seven balloons there that are pathing uh, from Archer Tower, and now they're going to move into this this cannon. So Goon, is this really how things are going right now? Like, is this what we're this? This is what you got to do now. I mean, honestly, that's what I've seen. Uh, I'm in a few different uh, CD CWL clans, and this is what's going on right now. This is what you are going to have to do, basically, to be successful with your balloon attacks. Awesome! Wow, that's that's kind of you know impressive. I, I don't know. It's it, it's kind of spammy, but uh, if that's if that's what's working right now, then I, you know. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see how this ends up getting combated in the sense of uh, the grouping of air bombs and uh, seeking air mines, uh, the grouping of the uh, you know skeleton traps. Uh, these things are going to end up coming into you know contribution considering now we are grouping up our balloons just like you would do hog riders. Does that make sense? Because I mean that's that seems to be the thing when it comes to the hog rider attacks is you know the, with the grouping of the uh, you know ground set traps and the you know double giant bomb locations even those even though those aren't as effective as they were six months ago people are still doing it and tying it into the bomb tower so i'm kind of interested to see how that plays out what was the other one we were going to look at uh 21 correct yep 21 it is okay so uh this one is actually shadow realm oh yeah i love shadow shadow is a good attacker so this base right here i'm going to go ahead and zoom out and i'm going to pause it for these guys so uh we can get a good look at this base obviously this base right here is really really screaming air all the way around correct am, am, am I absolutely right? <laughs> absolutely i mean look at those two ad's right near the queen's pedestal and the cc i mean yeah it this is definitely a air base for sure exactly and what i also like about this one is that nice nice flat edge right there on the uh the northwestern side you know there's no jack you got the one jagged wall with you know obviously a mortar sitting right there's perfect so i'm gonna put a golem right here and then I'm going to set up, you know, and put my, you know, a second golem over here, maybe on this cannon. And then everything's just kind of sit there and pick off everything as he, you know, gives it kind of plenty of time. So I'm going to go ahead and start this one. We're going to watch this funnel happen as he gets that first golem right. down. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. There ends up having to happen to be a Tesla there, too. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that locked the golem in. It was perfect. Exactly. Made his funnel for him, actually. Yeah. And he, he, even, he even had enough time to spam. He didn't even have to scout. Uh, wall breakers there. He <laughs> just spammed them. Okay, so beautiful. We, so we got the bowlers in right now. We've got the jump spell down. Poisons are down for the two dragons and queen. You know, rage. It's just everything's gonna go right through here and pound on this queen clan castle troops as well as both of these air defenses. So I mean, it's, it's just setting it right up. So we're gonna go ahead and transition at this point. He should be transitioning into the second portion of the attack even though there's only one air defense remaining see so the, the kill squad itself basically overpowered the base um, as he starts getting down the balloons and the hounds all right talk to me talk to me goon what we got all right here comes his uh, balloon deployment here uh that kill squad was amazing by the way he got uh, too much done actually and we're gonna see uh towards the end of this raid where that affects um the end of the raid with cleanup 
But right here, as you can see, uh, nice lay, nice surgical lay here. But pay attention, guys, to the amount of balloons that he was dropping, uh, which is important. He still did some double drops, but, you know, there's there's a lot more triple drops there. But pay attention to his hounds. Right now, being that he only had one AD left, uh, he's not going to get his hounds to pop here, guys. That is, uh, that's usually really bad. But this attack was so overpowering, Joe, it didn't matter. He didn't need to clean up. He had plenty of troops left on the board. Yeah, so he's, great. Like he, looks like he's got. What does he got here? He's got like, looks like ten balloons on, on cleanup at this point. But like I mean, did he lose a balloon? I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> he, he might have lost one or two, maybe. I don't know. I this, mean, he crushed it. <laughs> Either way, so you know, for you guys out there, this base is, you know, obviously really easy for the CWL guys. You know, I got it, whatever. Uh, but for you guys that are still, you know, trying to understand, the, I, the balloons are the balloons are not dead at Town Hall Nine by any means. Uh, it's just a matter of. Uh, following the pathing like uh, Dragoon saying here uh, and obviously dropping about three to four balloons opposed to just the single twos that we were dropping before in the surgical drops. So uh, you got any other tips for that, uh, Goon? You got anything else you want to add to that? Well, I mean, honestly, guys, just remember uh, with, with these attacks now, just like Joe said, we're going to reiterate, you know, drop more balloons uh, per defense, uh, but also just try to path out your, your balloons have an idea of, of how they're going to pass to the base uh, and, and work your spell placements uh, to deal with that, of course, plan for that. And really and truly, air is still bay, as I say. It's still bay. <laughs> it's great. Uh, people, there were so many naysayers post-update. Uh, balloons got nerfed. Oh, balloons are terrible. They're not, guys. They just take a little bit of time to get used to. And, and I failed, too, on, on my first hit with a Gobola loon. Uh, post update I failed because I deployed as I normally did pre update and that's not the way to do it uh, with the balloon change you got to go heavy and you just got to pass them Joe that's it man so I, hey can you tell me how you feel about the witches uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look hey let's let's just say this uh, I, I thought the witches were gonna get nerfed um, we all know that witch slap is very popular uh, bow witch, all witch strategies are on fire right now. If you're not comfortable with air, obviously just witch slap it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you for those. <laughs> See, I just touched a sore subject there. He's not a... <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will have the link for Dragoon's channel down in the description below. Be sure to go over and check him out. Drop him a sub. And, uh, yeah, his thumbnails will throw you off a little bit, but he's got some really, really good content in there, guys. Uh, drop those comments below. Smash that like button. And thanks for watching, guys.